All right, what's up, guys? We're back playing more of Hogwarts Legacy. So let's see what we have for some quests. Hmm. I guess I can do this one since it's a main quest. Gotta see on the map where it is, though. What are you up to now? Oh, before anything, don't I? Yeah, you know what I want to do? So I don't run into this problem. Uh, let's see. I want to sell off some of the extra stuff that I have. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Um, is this a place? Okay, I guess I can't purchase anything. I got all I need. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Just like that, we got money again. Oh, that level 22 one I just sold. I probably shouldn't have done that. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello there. Hello, all meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, 
Well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. Try, I'm gonna get that uh, that other point, that checkpoint, and then we're gonna go over to this. where that is. The the field field. <laughs> Apparently, some field guides, I think. Revelio. Away, High Wing! Away! High Wing! Go! Yeah, I don't know if this is more efficient than my, uh, my broomstick, but I like it better. I mean, I like the broomstick too, but, like, being able to fly on a hippogriff... Okay, 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 okay. Slow down, brother man. Let's see. You there? Handy Can resource you indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins, that's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambushed me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> And I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Okay. Follow my broomstick. I haven't done that for a little bit. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. 
If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. The door is looking at us. That's how you open those chests. Interesting. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Can bring up. I still can't believe what I I've read about minds like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Oh, I've been at this for hours. 
Ranrock is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. What's going on with this little moon town? Oh, yeah. Get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have no word. Akio! being watched by a door. feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Revelio. Sneaking about, you'll see. Who's that? One less human to worry about. No! I will make you That's the last. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Revelio. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? You ought to cut back. You won't stop. Oh, bingo. This is more complex than I had expected. Confringo! I'm 
another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Sorry I haven't talked in a little bit. I'm just like super focused on this right now. Mm. Oh yeah, I can't. Not an entanglement we need right now. This should be fun. Yes, of course. Sure, there's no Dallas. Huh? Who is it? No! One less human.
You know, all the stuff I'm getting is just not that great. Need some upgrades. Clever. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found. Man, I thought that was a cannon. You came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Omit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about... Can we please talk about... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, adieu. Without further ado, adieu. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. 
but instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Cock, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Yo, that's crazy, dude. I will dude. find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. So, let's see. Sebastian or Poppy? Do Poppy. She always has fun stuff. Also, apparently. that one yeah the room of requirement it's all just yeah okay um I'm gonna go to my map oh yeah hold on
Anyway, we gotta go to the Undercroft. Oh no, we're going to Poppy. We're not going to the Undercroft. <laughs> oh yeah, I wonder, did I get anything that's worth using? I need to identify those. This one. Nah. See, at this point, I'm not really worried about what I look like. I care more about, like, stats and stuff. Like, all that is stuff that I don't really get anything else. Wow. Well. Can't always enjoy your look, right? I feel like I'd like... <clears throat> oh, my voice. I feel like I, I would like it more if I had, like, that long cloak that I had last time. Like, this little cape thing is kind of stupid. Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall, and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the snidgets protected at oh, all heck costs. Yeah. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Well, I guess I'll go find Sebastian. Off on another adventure, are we? Kind soul, help me. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? 
I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. Uh, you're a homie. I'll send you an owl when I have news. I always protect the homies. Like to speak with you. Where's the, over here? All right, now let's go to Hogsmeade, sell off some stuff. Seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. That's totally fine. That's right here. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need any? I have tons, so. So this and this. You still have a decent amount of money. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. So I need to be level 22 for the next quest. Um, so I guess we can do like a side quest right now. Sure, why not? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Must be it. Looks as if the Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. The boys. That's the student who stopped us and I will make How many of you are there?
There's the student from the town. <laughs> Old defense and their offense. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. something. Now, to free Arn's carts. What am I doing here? This patrol is worthless. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to Arn. Should have took less time, is all I was saying. You're here for my wares. I'm on, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> You know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Why don't you have a little peruse? More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? All right, let's go to the room of requirement. Gonna see what this hat is. Have a moment, and please come and talk to Deke. Hmm. Nothing good. We can take this. All right, guys. Well, I think this is a good place to end the video. We're gonna go here, save the game. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and I'm just going to go back here. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.